Hey, nail tubers. So I went from this to this because I've really been feeling these XX, XX, XXL taper coffin tips. <laughs> now, some of you know from my live that I said I went from first doing a super stiletto test set. Then I didn't feel much up to shaping again when I actually started this set. But either way, I like them both and I know you'll like them too. Now for the most part, I've been including doing the clear first layer, but you know I've said in the past that it can be optional. However, for a length like this though, it helps to build strength. But I have decided to start speeding it up more because, I mean, how many times are you going to watch the clear layer going on? And how much more can I say about it, right? But I did want to keep it in for anyone learning. Now something else, guys, this hand position, it's so challenging for an old lady like me, <laughs> but I am surprised that I managed. And for that matter, a lot of the hand techniques that were taught in school, girl, mm -mm, I couldn't get with them. And it's okay to modify what you need to because I also always emphasize that you need to be as comfortable as you make it for your client. So just a thin layer of clear is good. It does serve to keep your nail bed from staining while becoming the foundation and layer of strength for your color acrylic. And then there's the thumb. <laughs> Even though you may not think it, but it really does take some getting used to because it's larger than the other fingers. So this is after the clear. And you know, this color is for all the purple loves. I start the pattern for this set with the solid purple, which will go partially on the pinky, fully on the middle finger, and then thumb. Then a layer of clear on the ring finger to keep the thickness the same as the rest. The idea was to use any solid colors and clear before the glitter acrylic especially if you're working with only one brush because by the time you do the glitter and this glitter is almost like a reflective glitter so it's loaded with sparklies it will tend to clog your brush so it should be planned out to use last the pinky is getting a cutout and the glitter acrylic will be added later once done with any colors in clear. And by now, you see I had to change hand positions, right? <laughs> you might see me do this different at times. I didn't layer it very thick at first because I can always build it up after the cutout is achieved. And as I keep doing it this way, it actually saves on product because you don't lay and cut away as much if that makes sense. One thing I did forget to do was to refine the edge of the cutout to sharpen the look more. You know what I mean. My brother and I always have movies going while in here, so it can be a little bit of a distraction, but it still came out really nice and you really can't tell. So still using the purple, I skip to the middle finger. This color is real pretty, isn't it? So while you're watching this, I want to thank all of you who've been participating in my lives. I really do appreciate your support because I do go back and watch. 
like in order to decide if anything needs to be sliced away, especially in the beginning when I'm fumbling around while I'm getting started. And this time I noticed how many comments I missed. But I think you do understand because it's from being turned away to do nails. And I was losing my place where I left off in the comments. Like LaToya kept saying hello, I missed that. Denise was still saying stuff, I missed that. And Q kept saying she couldn't remember the hours of nail school, but I just kept asking her. <laughs> But I'm so thankful everyone understood. So when that does happen, just keep putting the comment in until I notice it. And if you've been missing any lives and enjoy just like a hangout type environment, come through. We've been enjoying some good nail talk and I'll be doing Q&As and talking more about nail school in the upcoming ones. Then the thumb gets purple too. And sorry for being out of frame, sometimes we are so focused and forget we're recording or tend to lose our place. In fact, I did a short on doing the thumb. <laughs> sometimes it's my least favorite. So here's the clear on the ring finger so that it'll be the same thickness as the others. So here I'm explaining the pattern of the colors, but I've already done that for you. So starts the glitter. This is like a reflective glitter acrylic powder and it's so gorgeous. I nestle it right up against the purple, which is why there needed to be a little height when I did the purple. And this is still a little tricky, so I have to work it a little more to get it smoothed out. And I did intentionally let some get on the surface of the purple because I plan to file it clean before capping it with clear, especially after I realized I didn't refine the straight line. So you can get a better look at me laying this reflective glitter acrylic powder while doing the index. So yeah, come through and enjoy the live nail chats with us. Sometime in the future, I am considering doing acrylic too, but that will depend on watch time.
Something I did forget to mention when doing the other recent sets, when using the e-file, I tend to lean towards a fine sanding bit to debulk or shape shimmers and glitters. And the reason is, a stronger grit could be too harsh and cause like dinks in the body of the acrylic. And then when I'm done, I do switch to a carbide bit for the other surfaces. Now this is the worst part for many of us because the nails often pop off at this point when filing and shaping. So I offered just a little view. Then I cleaned all the dust off camera. And this is base coat and it was cured for 30 seconds. An outline on the clear ring finger. Then I decided to use some gold glitter gel liner to accent the outline and this was cured for 30 seconds. Instead of the top coat right now, I don't know why but I went in with the gem placement and everything is from Amazon. And you see I'm using Zule's Bling Gel. I was really surprised by this gel. It really feels jellyish, like jello. It's really lightweight. I added the teal roses for some contrast. A cute butterfly on the pinky and I love them. Now I've done many acrylic nail designs recently and you should see them by clicking this link. Hit the like button and remember to subscribe because there's even more to come. The notification bell will let you know when I upload. Thank you so much for stopping and spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Much love.